Well, hey everyone, how's it going? Sean here with another Genetry Solar video, and in this video, we're going to be looking at this 3000 watt power jack split phase pure sine wave low frequency inverter. Before we get into that, 833 Genetry toll free Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, 9 to 5 Eastern Time. Please keep in mind my call volume is substantial. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. GenetrySolar.com. Uh, GenetrySolar.com is where you can find custom build inverters, power jack converters, Wi-Fi boards for your power jack converters. And soon you will be able to get a hold of our beautiful uh, control boards as well as the new Genetry Solar, uh, basically, inverter lineup. And uh, we're really looking forward to getting that inverter lineup going. So, also, MakeSkyBlueUSA.com where you can get a hold of your charge controllers and solar panels from Sean Buckner. Get your inverter from me, get your panels and controllers from him, and in the future I will have another company that will be supplying me with the batteries. Good deal. This is a brand new, well it's not brand new, brand new, but it's almost new. It's about a month and a half old since it was manufactured, and uh, this is a 3000 watt split phase 24 volt inverter. So the difference is obviously this is a split phase inverter, which is unusual for the smaller ones. Not super, super rare, but unusual. You've got split phase output here, L1 neutral and L2. I did confirm that with the oscilloscope. This is a true split phase inverter, as well as it does in fact have the three wires coming out. You've got neutral, L2 and L1 here. So it is a true split phase inverter. This is the newer split phase single board solution that PowerJack has come up with with their smaller inverters if it does not have charging. If you had charging on this inverter, which this one doesn't, then you'd have another board coming off of this where you'd have your relays and input and etc. etc. This does not have that feature. Keep in mind that you can in fact adjust the output voltage. All of the front connectors have been completely removed. I do like how they are using this style plug rather than the universal plugs for the North American market. That is a good move in my opinion. As well as um, it's just simplified in the front. That's cool. But you'll notice there's no adjustments, adjustment pots that is for the uh, output voltage or the input voltage for that matter. You've got, depending on how we, which way you look at it, it looks like this might be the output adjuster and this would be the input adjuster. So that's something that obviously you would want to do with the inverter not powered on, not connected, etc. Because there's a lot of dangerous stuff in here. This little beast is enough to actually kill you, especially considering that it is a 240 volt inverter split phase. So it is obviously the new stainless chassis. They did get rid of the speakers, although they've got a spot for it. I personally find the speakers to be useful for only one thing, and that is frequency selection which is not possible here. PowerJack has removed that completely, so you are stuck with 60 hertz. Not a big deal if you're in North America, obviously, but you cannot choose your uh, frequency. Of course, a Wi-Fi board eliminates that problem. Anyways, uh, so yeah. Um, <clears throat> split phase in this small unit it is, like I said, uncommon. It's not likely you would ever need something this small that runs split phase. You can't run your central air on this. You can't run a clothes dryer on this. Basically, any appliance that requires split phase 240 here in the States, there's no way that this inverter would be able to run it, okay? It's limited. It's hard limit is 3,000 watts. It's more likely you're going to get between 1,500 and 2,000 watts out of it at most. And uh, so, yeah, that is not going to be enough to run anything in split phase. However, if you do have something like a tiny home, which I do have customers who have the tiny homes, they use the standard split phase panel, and uh, they just run L1 and L2 without 240 volt appliances. Sometimes that makes it easier for some people. Uh, so it just kind of depends on your needs. But these smaller ones typically don't need um, split phase. So, uh, yeah, there's a quick look at it. It doesn't look too bad. And um, will it do 3,000 watts? I'd say closer to 2,000 watts. Uh, between 1,500 and 2,000 at 24 volts they do have the high speed fan in here however it is automatic so there is no manual fan switch that is a little bit disappointing but um they do have a thermistor here that actually controls the fan and a thermistor here that um helps to shut down the inverter in case of an overheat 
so there you have it quick look and uh yeah not too bad not too bad at all i would say um it is a decently sized transformer for a 3000 watt inverter this is the asl transformer if you have any questions, let me know. 833 Genetry, toll free Monday through Friday, 95. And of course, GenetrySolar.com. Got lots of great stuff there. Lots of great stuff. If you need something, anything renewable, off grid, whatever the case may be, we are expanding. So keep an eye on that site. As always, thank you for your support and take care.